channel i'm so pleased you keep on coming to this channel if you haven't subscribed to this channel please go under the video and do me a favor by pressing the subscribe button and also do me a favor by pressing the thumbs up so that youtube will promote my videos and don't forget to leave a comment under the video let me know how the lesson is going or let me know where you are watching from Today we are looking at Hallelujah Nyame, Hallelujah Nyame, and we are playing using key C. Let's come back to the keyboard as I take you through how to play Hallelujah Nyame. Ciao. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at a special Ghanaian worship song, Hallelujah Nyame. <coughs> hallelujah Nyame, eh, Hallelujah. Uh, our God. Hallelujah to our God. Okay. And we are playing using five chords. We are playing using five chords. And we are playing using key C. Key C is the white note before the two black keys. The white note before the two black notes. The white notes before the two black So anytime we say key C, your mind should go to where the black keys are. So this is key C. This is key C. Okay. Let's quickly run through the scale of key C. we need five chords what are the five chords the first chord that we need is do so in key c this is your do so the moment you identify your do you secure your two octave do which is uh, note c is your bass so for the bass you are going to play it like this okay and for the treble it's going to be c C E J Do Do Okay. The next chord that we will need is Re Do Re. The moment you identify your Re like this, you secure your two uh, Re. So note your note D becomes your bass. The two note D, the, the two octave note D becomes your bass. For the treble is D F A D F A Re Re Okay. The next chord that you need is Mi Do Re Mi. Okay. The moment you identify the Mi like this, you secure your octave Mi. That's the your note E becomes your Mi. The two note E's becomes your Mi. So how do we play the Mi? The Mi for the treble, the me can be played like this. Uh, e, J, B, E, J, B, B, B. But for the purpose of this lesson, I'm going to play the me like this. This note is also here. So instead of playing the me like this, I'm going to play the me like this. Watch you. This key or this note is also here. So I will decide, I have decided that for the purpose of this song, I'm going to play the me like this. Okay. For inversion, you can play, these are the three notes. Uh, e, 
G, B. You can also play it B, E, J. As long as they are the same notes, there is no problem. The sound will sound a little bit different, but it's the same me. So E, G, B. But for the purpose of this lesson, we are going to play it B, E, J. B. Okay. The next chord that we we'll need is Fa. Do, Re, Mi, Fa. So the moment you identify like your Fa like this, which is the note F, you secure your bass. The two, you are going to play the bass with the two note Fs. That's the octave Fa. Okay. Then how are you going to play the how are we going to play the uh, treble? The treble is going to be C F A C F A C F A can also be played as F A C. But for the purpose of this lesson, let's play it C F A B okay, Fa Fa. Okay, so C, F, A, Fa. The last chord that we need is so, Re, Mi, Fa, So. Our note G becomes our So. So, you, once you identify your So, you secure the two bass, uh, two uh, note Gs, which becomes your So, your octave So. So, this is the so. How are you going to play the bass? Uh, the treble. How are we going to play the treble? The treble is going to be D, G, B. D, G, B. For the purpose of this lesson, play it like this. So, so. Okay, that's all. How is the song going to move? The song is going to move. I want to start with chapel, then we'll end with uh, the... A grand piano. The song is going to be do one beat, then me one beat, then fa one beat, then me one beat again, then re so do. I'll put it into bracket times two. You play it twice, which means you play the do again, the mi, the mi again, the fa, and the mi again, then re, then so, and end at do. That's the first portion of the song. It will be into bracket times two. That means play it twice. Play that progression twice. Then, the second portion of, of the song is fa two beats. Fa. Then so one beat. Then do one beat. Then re two beats. Then so two beats. You see, look, watch, watch my fingers, especially the treble. The first so you play it like this, and the second so you play it like this. The first so is a sustained so, and the second so is like normal so. Okay, don't get confused. The first so you play it like this, and the second so you play it like this. It's just this and this. Uh, so don't be confused. After you play, you finish playing this one. Then you repeat the first, the first uh, progression again, which is do one beat, me one beat, fa one beat, me one beat, re one beat, so one beat, and end at do. Then you are done. So you see that the first portion of the song you play, the first progression of the song you play twice. Then when you finish playing the second portion of the progression, then you end the progression with the first 
portion of the progression again. You repeat it. But this time you won't play it twice. You play it only once. Don't get confused. So the first portion of the song, you play it twice. It will be in bracket times two. But the second portion of the song, will, after you finish with the second portion of the song, you will end the song with the first progression again. But this time, you are playing it only once. Then you are done. It's as simple as that. Don't get confused at all. It's as simple as that. I'm trying to position the keyboard. Okay. Okay. So, what do we do? We start. I say you are going to start with do, do one beat, me one beat, fa one beat, me one beat, re, so, do. What does this mean? How does this translate into the song that I want us to play? How does this translate? Let's look at it. simple as that that's the first portion of the song then the second portion of the song i say you play far two beats far two beats then so one beat then do one beat then re two beats then so two beats the so two beats first one is like this and second one is like this Let's see how this translates into a song. Then you are done. Then after this, you repeat the first progression again. Then you come back to, okay, let me finish the second portion. Let me do the second portion again and complete it with the first portion again. So, So after the second portion of the progression, you repeat the first progression again, but this time you play it once, you don't play it twice. <coughs> I have a little code, so pardon me. Okay. But as a beginner, you can start with only the treble. When you are okay and comfortable, then you add the bass. So look at how it's going to look like.
as that so you practice with the treble and when you are okay and comfortable then you combine the treble and the bass together and that's what we are going to do now just did was instead of ending the song with the duo like this i decided to the do in the root position i decided to end the song in, in do in the first inversion this is how that's one of the best way to end the song uh, if it's in do in the first inversion instead of in the root position however any of any goes I like ending my songs with the duo in first inversion. Okay. Let's go over uh, once more. Then we'll try a different voice. Then we'll bring the lesson to a close. Hallelujah. a different voice today i'm not feeling well my i i have a cold cold and because of that it has affected my voice already i'm not good at singing and <clears throat> i have this cold too so i would like to try this last voice then bring the lesson to a close <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning to this channel. Bye.
and see you in the next lesson. Don't forget to practice at least 10 minutes every day on your piano. Ciao.